Have you ever heard anyone say, or even said yourself, the words, I'm bored? I feel like it's becoming the most common status on Facebook and MySpace. I mean, really, if I had a nickel for every bored status that I see, I'd be filthy rich. Unfortunately, no one gives me nickels, so I'm not. But what I'm saying is that simple two-word phrase, I'm bored, has become the most frequent phrase in our generation. I mean, on its own, it seems innocent enough, but these two words have become way more than just a common phrase. They're becoming a lifestyle. It's completely mind-blowing to me to talk to people about the things that they do and how they end up in horrible situations, all because they're bored and there's supposedly nothing better to do. Are they serious? I mean, that's the lamest excuse that I can even imagine. Let me tell you, until world hunger is solved, world peace is accomplished, lives and families aren't broken, and every soul has heard the gospel of Christ, so there is no room for any one of us to be bored. God has handpicked each one of us and placed us here with a purpose to fulfill. That's why this life, this mist of time on earth that we've been given, is so precious. Our lives are valuable, which means of great worth. Why would we willingly throw away the short time we've each been given? Did you know that there's more people in slavery right now than at any other point in human history? Every 3.6 seconds, someone dies of hunger. At least 80% of humanity lives on less than $10 a day. The third leading cause of death in young people ages 15 to 34 is suicide. Th that's just overwhelming. My intent isn't to totally freak you out, but to help us all realize that the world is so much bigger than ourselves. And in this world full of all kinds of needs are all kinds of gifts and abilities to go serve and save those people. That's the exciting part. Ephesians says, wake up, O sleeper. Be very careful then how you live not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. You may only be in middle school and think that what you do right now won't make a difference till you're a lot older, but it does make a difference. You have something incredibly valuable to offer right now. The world expects because we're young that we'll do nothing. Prove them wrong.